everyone, this is Paul, and I'm uh, blogging about my last day of uh, my vacation family trip in uh, Sedona, Arizona. It's been fun for a week, and I'm about ready to go home. Um, I got today and uh, tomorrow, and then Saturday morning we're, we're going back. But um, yeah, so today I just want to tell you about uh, our trip to the Grand Canyon it was awesome. It was only about two hours um, north. Uh, west from here and um, it was a pretty easy drive. Um, the weather was a lot more cooler than it is here in Sedona. Sedona was like 105 today and we escaped that heat. Um, here it was like, oh yeah, here it was hot. Up there it was like 75, it was cloudy, it was really nice. But um, yeah, so anyways, I'm at a resort, like a golf resort and um, it's cool. I mean, look at the views behind me. You can see um, there's the golf uh, course here and um, it's about to sunset I was gonna get some photography of the sunset because there's tons of clouds in the sky right now so that's just gonna turn dark purples and and uh, bright oranges and um, you can see the rock is all orange here so all that light from the Sun is just gonna reflect off the clouds all that all that all those oranges and hit those red rocks and just make those glow so the the sunsets here are just insane, but um, yeah. So and then tomorrow, um, tomorrow's gonna be cool. There's this place called Slide Rock, and um, basically it's a natural water slide. It's part of the river, and it's all smooth rock for like I don't know a half a mile straight. So you just get them to the top, and then the the rapids kind of carry you down slowly. It's kind of cool. But um, so you pay to park. It's like twenty bucks, and then you spend like four hours there, and then. Um, after that, um, we're going to go check out these ancient Indian, uh, you know, art on the, on the rocks. It's, you know, a thousand years old and they're super cool. And um, that's so closer to um, where we are because we're just outside of Sedona. So anyways, I'm grilling up some steaks. I'm going to show you what I'm having for dinner. Um, I think this, I've been marinating these porterhouses. I got like two for 10 bucks, they're on sale at the store. I got some cool marinades and, and rub. And this is just blazing hot, so I'm gonna put these right on the barbecue right now. Bam! Bam! Just let those sizzle on the barbecue. <laughs> That's my time. My time to grill. Dad's time to make dinner tonight. We've been eating out and I don't know fast food and all this other stuff. I've been dying to get on behind this this grill here and make some real food. Uh, so, anyways, I've been marinating this for the last half an hour, and then I put a dry rub over that, and uh, so I'm gonna let that cook for a couple minutes on each side and and enjoy it with uh, some red wine and and uh, then hop in the jacuzzi. <laughs> so. Um, Anyways, yeah, I'm loving the trip. What did we do here? Um, first, you, when you get here, you're totally brand new. You're lost everywhere. But it's mainly just two freeways that go through here, like a big T, you know. And um, there's resorts down here. And then then up there, it's kind of like all the off-roading um, and, and shopping and all that stuff is up there in Sedona. And uh, a lot of restaurants are kind of our way and then also in, up in Sedona. But um, there's all these cool, crazy rock formations and they just peek up into the sky and they're everywhere. Um, the, I only got one to show you right here and it's right there. And, uh, but there's one that looks like a coffee pot. There's one that looks like Snoopy. They call it Snoopy rock. The other one's like coffee pot rock. And then uh, they have cathedral rock and like all these different names, you know. And, uh, and there's this one shaped like a bell. And that one we hiked, we actually got out of the car and hiked it and it was pretty cool. They have like vortexes that like send down energy and you could feel it for days or whatever. I didn't feel anything. It's a bunch of new age, you know, BS. But anyways, I would like to think that I had some cool um, like energy vortex going through my body or whatever. But there's a bunch of like hippies in this area that believe in that stuff, crystals and all that. But um, it's mainly like, you know, a big golf community. It's really nice here and uh, real pleasant. And... Uh, I like to get over to the driving range and knock off a bag of balls 
and have some fun tomorrow um, after Slide Rock. And then um, there's this thing called V Bar V, and that's where the um, the Indian art is. So we're gonna check that out. And then Saturday we got to shoot over to Phoenix and um, take back the rent a car. You know, get to the airport super early and and then I get back home. So anyways, I'm gonna enjoy these T-bones. It's time to flip these over. Ah, oh, perfect. Just teasing the neighbors here with the smell. My marinades are no joke. Mix them, make sure they're all juiced. A little bit more so don't get dry. So I'm doing two porter houses tonight, one for today, and I think I'm gonna stick the other one um, back into the fridge for uh, tomorrow. There's no way I'm not sure if I can eat two porter houses in one setting. It's a little bit much for me. We'll see how I feel after the first one. But if you know anything about steaks, that's the filet mignon part of the porter house. See here. Right there, that's the filet, it's super tender. That's the most tender portion of the steak. And then you got the New York strip. And the fact that it's bone in, that's gonna add flavor. And then there's like that sliver of fat going around the edges and that just adds even more flavor. On top of the marinade, I did salt and pepper. I did a few secret things. I, I, I did a, like an amber um, microbrewery like beer first like 10-15 minutes and then I took that off and I did like a, a different marinade on top of that it's like a soy based um, and salt and pepper and then I did a dry rub on top of that so it's just gonna be ultra insane <laughs> so these are gonna go down nice and then I got some um, oh I gotta tell you about this in Jerome there's a, a little town called Jerome I think I'm looking at the wrong camera there's a little town called Jerome, and it's about 45 minutes from here. They're mine, mining towns from like the 1900s, and basically they're looking for copper. They're digging and digging, and they struck gold. And so a small town became kind of, you know, well, two people became like 300, which is huge then. And um, anyways, nowadays it's kind of modern. It's, you know, small town people. It's kind of like going to Julian. You know, you go up there, and it's all small town. So you get up there, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm wine tasting at this wine bar, and the, the, the wine bartender is like telling me that the, uh, the owner of the, the bar that I'm in is owned by Tool, the lead singer of Tool. Uh, his last name's uh, Keenan. He has his, oh, Maynard Keenan. And uh, anyways, that band totally rocks. I love Tool. And um, here I am drinking his wine, you know, it's totally cool. And so uh, anyways, I thought that was pretty neat. And then we had some ice cream. I got, I get, um, got my son a kaleidoscope and uh, and then checked out the mines and all that stuff so we walked around it's just really easy town to see in you know an hour or two but um jerome if you're here in sedona go check out jerome it's pretty cool all right well i'm gonna flip these steaks and enjoy them and that's about it for now so just want to share my trip and where i'm at and a little bit about what i'm up to and um, i'm out Let me get some last minute. Uh, oh, it's 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 the uh, sunset. I, I gotta show you. I'm using the front camera of my cell phone, so it's not like super HD. But let me see what you're seeing. Yeah, so you can see the blues and the purples and the the red is about the right when that sun hits that horizon. It's gonna shoot, those purples are gonna turn bright red. I tilt the camera up here. You can see it is actually kind of light when I tilt it up. It gets a bit darker. I can't get the golf course and the sunset at the same time. I gotta get either or. See, now it's starting to turn red. I told my wife I wanted to go up there. There's the, a little road up there. It's the airport, so they call it Airport Road. And there's like this little lot and everybody hangs out. They get pizza, they bring it up there and they're snacking on their food and uh, and checking out the opposite end of the other side of this view up here. So that's the crazy sunset that I'm about to enjoy these steaks with. And then there's a jacuzzi. <laughs> so I'm totally having fun right now. But uh, 
Anyways, I, I think my wife and, and kid are they're watching a movie. They got a Netflix across a red box across the street, and uh, so they're watching a movie. So we got back from uh, the Grand Canyon today, and it was like 70, 75. It was like easy temperature. And then it's like we got back at 6 at night, you know, just before sunset. And it's like 96 degrees still. It's, I'm like dripping in sweat right now. It must have been at least uh, over 100. I would say like 105, 106 today. It's monsoon season right now. It's I'm I'm shooting this video in uh, July. I think today is 19th, and so uh, oh, it's about to get crazy. Hey, look at those purples turning into bright oranges. That's just nuts. Uh, so really cool. See, I wish I was up there. I knew it was going to be spectacular today. And I and she said, oh, don't go. T if we don't go tonight, we'll go tomorrow. Because she drove all the way to the Grand Canyon and back. And I didn't want to make her to go all the way back up there just so I can get my sunset views. So hopefully we went up there the other day and there's no clouds. So we didn't get a sunset. And so the day that I don't go, we get this like insane sunset. But at least I get to share it with you guys, you know. So that's kind of cool. Kind of hoping this comes out. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because this video is getting super long. But um, anyways, just thanks for checking out my video, and uh, yeah, I'm having a good time here, and um, I'll be back. So um, give me a call later.